Glory, 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 adoration, glory, adoration, glory, adoration, glory, adoration. Blessed be the holy name. Thank you, the King of Kings. Lord, I just want to worship you for this beautiful glory morning again. Monday morning. Thank you for granting us a great opportunity to speak your kingdom, your word of encouragement, imparting oh, your mighty power upon us for us to know that you are with us 24 hours. Lord, indeed, because the Bible says, hmm, he that keepeth Israel never slumber nor sleep, you are with us, meaning you washing over us. God, your eyes did not depart from us in a circles. We want to give you praise for this Monday morning. Lord, be thou exalted. Glory, adoration to your mighty name. I give you praise. Every other part of the world that you are watching this program, Lord, I just want to say thank you. Glory be to your holy name. Lord, you've come with the word of Israel. Lord, to encourage the weak to encourage those who have low esteem lord to open our eye to see what you are about to do for us this week glory and adoration to your mighty name in jesus mighty name amen glory 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 be to the name of our lord jesus christ i greet to you in the precious mighty name of jesus christ that have then us to see today Blessed be the holy name. I'm not going to waste much of a time uh, because I want you to connect with what God has for you. I want you to receive and begin to walk in the anointing throughout this week. And I know no power will quench this in you in the precious mighty name of Jesus. I myself am highly excited. I remember I was in the Boston on Friday, you know, I think I got there on Thursday, uh, in, the, in, in the morning of Friday, I'm not even praying about it, and the Lord spoke to me expressly, He spoke to me expressly, that the light shall go before you, wow, this week, the light of God will light into your path. There will be no shedding darkness that will overcome you in all areas of your life. Hmm. I want you to listen to this. I saw instant manifestation of that light. I begin to feel the impact of it. And indeed, you will experience it. It will not pass you by. I'm saying this. I only repeat this. This message is not just a message. It's not just a prayer. But the Lord is looking at the heart of his children. Those that have been redeemed with the blood of Jesus. To let them know that at the crucial time of this day, it will be with you that is with you is your companion is your encourager is the one that will protect you it will show you the way it will guide you it will give you the peace the passive understanding it's not the hand of man at all but everything is the hand of mighty god glory hallelujah I want you to prepare your heart. God has a new day for you this week. This week, I'm telling you, you are going to celebrate. I'm telling you, you will celebrate because the beauty of this glory is going to manifest itself through this wall. As he said, the lie shall go before you. When God is saying this, there are a lot of things attached to it. But this would make me to take you to the book of Exodus, chapter 13, verse 21. And the Lord went before them by 
by day in the pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night oh hallelujah hallelujah god we be with you this week your night and your day is going to be brightening in protection in provision in all your expectation to the glory of mighty god now let me tell you this devil is doing his own work the work of the devil is to bring your heart come down to lose your faith in god and as a calling man he knew that he had to take you under the grace of god before he attack you but you are not going to be attacked you are not going to be touched by him that confusion no it will not establish god have a glorious protection provision is anointing that will rest upon you to take you through this week that debt you will pay it i'm serious that debt you are going to pay it the lord is asking me to tell you fear not you will pay it and the glory of god will be lifted up over you because it's with you is guiding you is light is to take away the works of the darkness from you the light is to protect you to see in order to get understanding i know there is a mystery about this and which people refuse to understand especially most of the children of god if you hear what the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 32 says it says a light to lighten the Gentile and the glory of thy people Israel hallelujah uh -huh. now if you look at this word very well the light to lighten the Gentiles you are going to become a glorious brightening power enlightening to those who are not no god because of wonder things god is going to do for you this week i can see the lord is me to understand right now that i said to people are waiting planning evil and they arrange it very well they were so happy over you but the, the less they understand that the beauty and the glory of God have revealed their plan, have exposed their power, even the one they hire against you. That is giving them rest of mind. Say, so don't worry, we're going to get him. Don't worry, we will finish him. He has been doing it. Oh, God, you want to get God? The Bible says, if God be on our side, who can be against us? Who's going to be against you? They are just barren that run their mouth. They cannot hold the glory of God back out of you. If God did not black claim you, who is that one that going to black claim you? Or give you bad name? If God did not put darkness of embarrassment into your life, who is that one can embarrass you? Because God is light is pure light there is truth in him the power of his glory rests upon his own i want you to listen to this children of god god identify his own children i remember in the book of Isaiah chapter 44 verse 21 he made jacob to understand 
that is with him. It doesn't matter what anyone is saying about you. I have your God. I will see you through and I will not forget you. Because out of God in love of his glory in order to let us know that he's with us. That he didn't forget us. And he's assuring us that this week the light shall go before you. You know what that means? You understand what that really means? When the light of God is channeled in your path. And when some people are gunging in the darkness, because they are doing is of the darkness. Their language is of the darkness. Their parties is of the darkness. They can plan anything, they can range anyhow. But who are they doing it? Who are they doing it to? They're doing it to mighty God. But they forget the Bible said, Touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. Who can touch you? They are ranging the candle burnings, evil pronouns against you will not work on you. Even the traitor, they can take style because of evil that they've done. Acting as if they are shaking on you. They want to know how far their evil work has gone. But they are digging their own what? Their own grave. Because God will surely save you. And they shall fall into their own pit which they dug for you. Because by the time they send demon to obstruct you in manipulating, making their own war, get to their own understanding. And when that demon did not get work to do on you, it's going back to them. That is exactly what we call back to sender. Because it has no room to send you. It's going to go back to them because you find them to be an evil one. Because the coverage of God is not on them. And that is what those people who are doing evil refer to other sand. The Lord is saying, the light shall go before you this week. Woo! The light of God. I call it Brandy Havasida. The light of God shall go before you. Thank you, Father. I want to let you see this. I want to look at this very well. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Say ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Cannot be hid. No power can hold you back. Because for you to guard Jesus, for you to have Christ, the light of his glory is in you. For you to give your life to Jesus. The power of his glory is you. Look at what John chapter 1 verse 4 said. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. I don't know the power that says you're not going to move. Gloria this week. You will move in the glory of the light of the kingdom of God mightily this week the Lord will walk in his glory upon you because Christ has come and in him was life and the life was the light of man hallelujah so the light is shining in your path to connect you to all kinds of resources this week that will glorify the name of the Lord in your life that will build his kingdom in your life that will prove to the mockers of your life that he is God God is not standing in the way of evil because you are righteous because your life are be hidden in him 
no one's there Psalm 91 verse 1 he that dwelleth in the secret place of the high shall abide under the shadow of Almighty God hallelujah you are covered by the shadow of God the light and the beauty of his kingdom is resting and abide with you mightily Woo. glory be to the name of our Lord let's look at book of Exodus Exodus chapter 10 verse 23 they saw not one another neither rose any from his place for three days but all the children of Israel have light in their dwellings hallelujah my 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 the enemy was kept in the darkness and God used their own darkened life in which they used to oh you love that yes great he make it to block them and make light for his own children The Lord is telling you this week, the light shall go before you. The light shall go before you. The beauty of His glory shall rest upon you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The glory and His beauty and His beauty will strongly rest upon you hallelujah the light is going with you fear now what you don't even understand the light and the glory of god will shine into your part and it will open your eyes and it will connect you to that glory but one thing you need to know is this god is God from beginning up to this present the word of God is life and is truth and no power can change his world get that clear and his only God his righteous God is mighty in doing his great things Therefore, all you need to do, connect with God. All you need to do to believe in Him. All you need to do, walk with Him. Don't feel discouraged. Whatever situation, whatever that is happening, I can see it. The glory and the brightening of power of his kingdom rested upon his children this week and beyond and beyond and beyond. Don't feed this mill. Calm down. God is in the camp of the children of God. When Gaius saw the army of heaven that stood beside them his mind is at rest he's even telling Elisha let's go and fight the battle let's go I want you to call it God will see you through and his name shall be glorified his plan we be carrying out fully in you this week because the plan of God no one can change it once he speak it is established hallelujah I want you to be very careful and be watchful and don't let anything attract you at the path of righteousness because God is real. If you watch the children of Israel, their journey to promised land, those who depart 
from instruction never gather. But those who endure, believe, start with God, they inherit the land. They inherit the land. They live in the land. They see the honey and the glory and blessing of God in the land even up to today. Please walk with him. God is working on your behalf. God is working on your behalf. Don't forget Matthew 5 14 Ye are the light of the world and the city that said on a heap cannot be hid no power can hide you it's going to see you through if you are sick God will heal you he will heal you the pain the law will remove it by his power God did not change the same yesterday today and forever his glory and power will rest upon you I discover a lot of people were depressed they were into that depression they are looking for way out I'm calling you to listen to this message even I'm going to pray for you specially this morning because the power of depression will be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ even for the fire you're hearing my voice I can see the anointing flow upon you losing you from that depression depression come from Satan 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 7 say God did not give you the spirit of fear get up because fear will come forth before depression settling you have to make everything look horrible and you cannot even know where you stand and make you to look at everything as if the end of life has come it will be showing you the grace you, be sure, you know, change your mentalism and when that settle, it begins to manipulate your brain and you don't have peace anymore but in the name of Jesus Christ as you are watching this prayer in the morning I command in the name of Jesus Christ your demons and powers of depression I cast you out from this one in the name of Jesus Christ you know somebody I see you are watching this program after I came out from life listen to this people have been telling you advising you and you yourself you don't even know what is actually happening on you you a, you a woman you have so much around you I can see your marriage I can see different type of things it's making you to lose your mental reason but I command in the name of Jesus as you are hearing my voice that demon oppression that depression I ban you in the name of Jesus from her I cast you out in Jesus mighty name you are loose to that vision you are loose to that blessing you are loose to that glory. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is making you to understand the light shall go before you. It's happening right now. It's shining onto your path right now. You are loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. I'm going to tell you this. I want to tell you this. And run it up. Luke chapter 11, 
verse 35. He said, Take heed thereof that the light which is in thee be not darkness. The Lord has make you, has given you, has protect you, and impart his light into you through his only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he came to this world with life, the life that gives to us, become the light of him. Because we need to carry the light everywhere and shine. And your light will not die in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm looking at somebody, you know, I'm hearing many things now. I don't even know the one I should talk about, but I'm going to quickly mention of this one. It's talking about finance again. I speak to that your finance and I decree in the name of Jesus. I command by the power that in the name of Jesus, your finance change today in Jesus' mighty name. I decree the Lord will send a helper to you. You that particular, the Lord is telling me, your helper is on the way. Your helper is on the way. He has read someone. Someone is coming to make you laugh. Is coming to change your situation. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, you have broken the power of that death in this one. You have broken the power of devil on this one. You are losing this one. My Yatala Kraba. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are loose. You are loose. You are loose. Thank you, God. Glory be to your holy name. I pray, especially at many the sick. Waiting for this prayer. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever sickness that is going on, that's against rugby you, your health. I command it go in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I can see somebody. You are having a mental problem. You are having a mental problem. But you are seeing aware of what is happening to you. This morning, I command in the name of Jesus Christ. That mental power. The power in Jesus mighty name. Aha. Uh -huh. You will no more talk to yourself. Yes. Lose from that feeling. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you, beautiful God. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I pray they will go and shine in the world for the world to know that you are in their life. And this light will bring sinner to your kingdom. Thank you, King of Kings. Lord, I give you praise. Be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, as I'm praying right now, the Lord is telling me to tell somebody, I see that you are sick. Even you are not alive right now. But the Lord is asking me to tell you that negative thoughts. Say, I'm going to die. God is telling me to tell you, you will live. You will live. You will not die. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against the spirit of thought of death of this one. I command life into you now. Yes, receive your life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Glory, adoration to your mighty name. Lord, I give you praise. Be magnified, O oh Lord. Glory and adoration. Thank you for fitting out this body, O oh Lord. Thank you because the light is shining right now. The glory of your power, O oh Lord, is already, O oh Lord, shining the part of the people. Glory of our lives, of our doing. Father, I bless your holy name. I give you praise. Be thou exalted. In the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ. And amen. I greet you in the precious name of Jesus. Good morning.